welcome to Cool Toys. I'm Scott and today we're going to talk about a cool toy that was brought to us by Airstream. So if you know me or if you've watched anything on the show, I love the Jeep, I love the outdoors, but 20 years of hanging out in the military, living in tents, really not a fan of camping anymore. They sort of took it out of me, I guess. But Airstream says they've got a toy that will sell it to me. So one of the problems, of course, the Jeep JK does not have a lot of towing capacity. So we're looking at a very small compact Airstream. So they've got to cram a lot of stuff into it. Now, we went out to Airstream of Orange County and they uh, took us through several different Airstreams. So we're gonna look through them. There's one that I think you might like. We'll look at the end and decide if it's a cool toy. So let's run through this. So the first one I look at is a standard little 16 footer that I can pull behind the Jeep JKU and really good looking unit. You know, Airstreams have been built in the United States and they've been built to last. So you see 1950s Airstreams still running around. That's not something you see with a lot of other brands, but really didn't impress me. It's a cool camper. It looks comfortable. It had a lot of amenities, but nothing that I couldn't live without and nothing that I'd prefer to go to the Four Seasons in. So we go to the next one. Tommy Bahama edition. Look at the inside of this thing. Cool inlaid wood. I love the palm trees. Very much the beach lifestyle that we live here at Cool Toys and really a cool, cool um, trailer. My Jeep can't tow it. My wife's car can. So we're off to something here. But when we look at this, does it rate as a cool toy? We've kind of looked at the first Airstream, you know, two stars. Yep, we like it. Pretty cool. You know, if they left us one, we wouldn't say no, but it really wouldn't be enough to get me to spend the money and quit camping. So then, uh, or quit hanging out in hotel rooms. Um, so then the next one, we're looking at here, um, the ultimate. This one might have me. Check this out. We've got a built-in barbecue, solar. We've got a TV, a wine cooler inside, and two kegerators outside. This is the exact unit that Uncle Joe Benson used for years on 100.3 The Sound, which sadly has been killed by big corporate radio. So we don't know where Uncle Joe Benson is, but sir, that was cool that you got to hang out in this trailer. It's got the 100.3 Sound logo here on the side. So if we go back and look at the sizes, we, you know, we started with this little 16 footer and then we pop over to the Tommy Bahama, which again, a lot of cool features really kind of a cool thing uh you know if you're into the relaxed lifestyle it's even one step closer uh you know i kind of joke if you look at the interior there i think i have that shirt that same fabric in a shirt so maybe i ought to pull it out and uh, wear it in the next episode but um anyway great great trailers really cool and i will say that custom one and that's the thing that i learned about airstream that eric the sales manager out there showed me is that they can make it any way you want it. So they built this one custom for 100.3 The Sound to use as the tailgate Rams trailer, dual kegerators, wine cooler, pop-up TV, outside TV even. So if you didn't want to sit inside, you want to sit outside, it's all there. Really a good job. And I'm going to give that one the Cool Toys approval and call it a cool toy. There you go. An Airstream might be something to get me back outside to camp. And in fact, it might have. I mean, look, these guys even turned it into a barber shop. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Take care.